welcome back to my channel welcome back for another video how are you all doing i hope you're all doing really really well sorry for the little bit of um a pause i had a couple of videos that i'd actually planned to go up this weekend but they needed approval and they have not yet been approved so i thought i would do a home update sorry this is crooked i thought i'd pop on here and essentially do a little home update video share with you some bits and bobs things i've been buying um i'm gonna go to next today to pick up a light for the living room and i thought i might pick up a few other bits while i'm there so i could show you that sadly did a zara home order and i've got the most gorgeous chair which i'm excited to show you um but the lamps came and they were smashed and they were really crap quality like really was quite appalled i'll pop a picture here of the lamp that i ordered i've packaged them back up now to take them back to the shop um they were all smashed and they were like 100 pounds a lamp i know i was like you know what? i'm gonna spend the money i love these lamps the quality was awful like they are not I thought they were stone and they're not they're like hollow so i really don't recommend them if you're looking for that style of lamp at the moment i'm gonna try charles ted and there's a couple other places online that i'm gonna give a go with regards to lamps also hi and welcome if you're new my name is georgia may i do loads of content on this channel um a lot of clothing content which this is a whole video that's going to be coming very soon vlogs travel vlogs and at the moment i'm actually doing a little bit of home content because i'm planning on moving out of here asap rocky the reason why you guys have not had a home update video is because, to be honest with you, I thought I'd be way further ahead with moving out by now. You guys know I got the keys months ago to this house. There's not been, like, crazy renovations. Everything's just taken so long. Um, like, the bathroom is, like, taking so long and i don't have a bathroom like work in the bathroom started a month ago and i haven't had a bathroom for a month so it's just delayed everything because obviously i can't move into the house without a bathroom so um yeah but so many of you have been saying to me like george i just want an update like i want to see what's happening i want to know what's happening so i thought you know what let me do this update for you guys so you can see a little bit more of what's actually been going on at the house um i have picked out some carpet to go in the front room so i'm waiting for that to arrive and I've just got a couple of bits maybe that I could try and update you with. I've got two beds now. I've got my bed that's arrived, which is so beautiful. And I will show you guys when we get to the house. And I've also got the spare bed, which is from a really great company that I want to tell you guys about. Because the price of their beds, oh my god, are amazing. And they're gorgeous. It's just like my bed here at home. So if you like this style of bed, um, it also has the gas lift storage. So you can lift it up and store whatever you want in. Honestly, this bed is so, so lovely. So I'll show you that when we get to the house also going to go for some ikea wardrobe so i'll show you guys the concept and plan i have for that and there's a little bit of progress i can show you guys the bathroom you can tell me your thoughts but it's just taking a little bit longer than sort of planned um but yeah how are you i hope you guys are good i will show you to the house i'll take you out shopping with me today we will try and get a few more bits for the house and i'll show you some bits that i'm eyeing up on the internet and fingers crossed i should be in there in october cannot believe i'm saying that <sighs> let's just let's crack on with the video grab a cup of tea hope you guys are good i've missed you guys oh, hi hi Dance mom oh, look have you seen lovely. that look at my glasses <laughs> have you seen that when when look at my glasses you took glasses, photo. glasses. you took that photo and i've got ray-ban no 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 have you seen that thing with mr g where he goes when i was a little boy i didn't call my mom mom i called my mom mom I mean, Mum! Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Say hello! Hello! You're but being I've got rude. these funny glasses on. Lovely light here. Look at lost. the light on us. My glasses are lost. Yes. Ooh, they're not funny. They're old school. They're actually. Well, they are. Oh, I my used God. To wear these. these are literally my first ever pair of sunglasses. Like, <laughs> these are, I had these when I was like 13. I remember. These are like 10 years old. I used to wear them in the oh. 80s. Oh, wow, you're an original. But they don't look so right on me now. Do you do want to tell everyone where we are and what we're doing? Lady. Do you want to tell everyone where we are and what we're doing? Where we are? You can tell them where we are. Exactly where we are. <laughs> well, don't, we don't live we're here. We're in a town called Luton. We're in Luton town. We don't come here that often. <laughs> we don't. But uh, we're here. Fact, They've got a great in industrial fact, park. Have you ever been here apart from when you've been to the airport? Never, but there's a first time no. for everything and look at this industrial park we're sat in there's a wix there's a the it's food fantastic. warehouse yeah, tappy carpets excited. we could pop in there actually no because i don't want to pay that money for the carpet no but i mean it's exciting it look, is exciting look what's behind us that's the most exciting thing what the starbucks the bucks, that's and the tables true. outside in the sunshine yeah it was a stunning day yeah, yeah. hope i can get an outfit pick here but i'm not sure where um outside pets at home oh. 
Because mm. this is a good outfit and good light. But... You could do a Poundland haul. Because uh, do you know what? Do you know what? They've I got get some great some things, good in, things Poundland. in there. You're not wrong. I do. You light do. Bowls. You love it. You're always in there. The stuff for the cold sores that's normally six pounds and it's only a pound in Poundland. There we go. Not that I get, I don't get cold, cold sores, sores, but, but I other do. people do. Right, do we want, do we want to tell them where we're going then? We're going to next to pick up a light. Yes. Let's see what the light is like. Maybe we'll pick some other things as well. Yeah, maybe. Um, should I hide these scissors? I shouldn't leave them on display in the car. No I? way. Put them in there, yeah. No way, no way. Not this is my the outfit. Ikea debacle. No, this is my outfit of the day, by the way. This jacket, which my mum doesn't like. No, I do. Is it a trench? No, it's a oh. blazer. Oh. When you get out, I have a proper look. It's not her kind of thing. So I knew I, when I was putting it on, I thought, no, colour, this is a reckless like This is a reckless outfit. Okay. Your outfit of the day? Where's your no, cardigan? Oh, from? God, look at me. I've okay. thrown things on. Where is my cardigan from, from actually? I think it's last year's Abercrombie. Oh. Yes, it is Abercrombie. Yeah. That's a bit of a rogue one. I know. Right, right let's we're go. Off out. This is the Starbucks. We haven't progressed. My mum's just been stung by some sort of creature on the side of the, on the, side of the vehicle. But we're going to go in there afterwards, I think. Maybe we could sit. See, I could get a good pick at Starbucks. Sat down. Look, there's everything here. Hobby craft, super drug. It's a big super drug. Wren kitchens. People talk about them a lot, don't they? Wren kitchens. Have you had a Wren kitchen? Let us know below. What, what is your review? I've heard very mixed reviews of that. So, here we are. We're going into next. Here we go. And then he walks into the glass door. The lady said it's upstairs. She said to me, go upstairs. So... That is where we're going, up the stairs. Here we go. Up, up and away. It's very busy out there. They better have reserved that light. I'll be having words otherwise. Goodness, they've got loads in here. Look at all the lights. Are you going straight to the thing or are you, no? Same. I'm seeing if there's a light for that room. That's the light you sent me, this one. You sent me this one. Oh yeah, because it's just a light show. Yeah, I know. You can put that up on any old um, thing. Oh, I quite like this one, Ashdown. Yes, I like Ashdown. 150 quid. Nice, yeah, I like Ashdown. Nice I have they? Get him to put a light bulb. Oh, panic. Okay guys, so this is the light that I've just picked up here. It is an exact dupe for the White Company light. So I will link the White Company version and this version if you don't want to buy the White Company one. Um, that at the moment is going in my sitting room, but I am looking for a light to go over the landing. And this is it, by the way, if you want to. Obviously it's really hard to see on here because there's so many other lights but it's this one here. And I do think that could look quite nice over the landing. They do it in a smaller version as well, which is this one here. This is in the chrome. I'm gonna go for the black. Um, but it, they are really nice lights. I think they'd be really nice in separate rooms. So one in the sitting room, one in the landing, because they're not gonna be near each other. Um, and obviously they have that kind of chain. So yeah, I just thought I would show it to you guys if you are looking for something like this. This one is from Next. And here are all the other amazing lights they have here as well. Beauty. Where are we now, Vanessa? <laughs> Stop it, because I don't look my like Where Vanessa. are we? We're in B&M. We're in B&M. I've never been here before. Don't it's say my, we're not glamorous. My first visit to B&M. Um, and there's plenty of things to choose from. Hmm, I want to show you guys my outfit. Can I put you here? You here. Oh, there we go. Motel jacket last year. Pretty little thing dress. Little Louis crossbody. I got this from a vintage shop online and I'm obsessed with it. Um, and then I've got on Steve Madden boots. It's my outfit today. So, oh, long story short, we have finally made the sofa. Um, Sorry, I've just got like loads going on and it's just a bit stressful to be honest, but whatever. Um, 
ignore the fact that it has no covers. Uh, there are covers, but I currently don't have them. It looks so big in here, like, but it, it isn't. Like, it's like a normal sofa, but this room is so small that it looks so big. There's obviously boxes, like, to be honest, guys, it's absolute cottonage in the house right now. And I'm here to do a house update, and I feel like I can't update you all that much. Right, this is my Zara chair that I really want to show you, but don't want to take this off because obviously there's still things going on in the house. But let me try and show you a sneak peek of it oh can you guys see it actually do you want to sort it i'm going to show you guys the whole chair i'm going to show you the chair because i want to this is i've got the window open oh my god how nice is it this is not actually staying here this chair this is going to go in my room so this gorgeous chair i might actually be able to carry this upstairs now because i've got some space in the hallway where i can lift things up so yeah so this chair is going to go in my room but i just love it look how nice it is I'll leave it linked below for any of you that are interested. Obviously, this is my IKEA sofa, which needs its co covers on. So please excuse that. It doesn't look its best right now, but it's a really nice big sofa, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm obviously gonna carpet this room and have a cute little coffee table. TV's gonna go there. Okay, so this was the light I was telling you guys about when I was in next. It's the Warwick 4 light pendant, and I'm actually tempted to get it out because it's gonna be going in that room. This is the light. Um, and this is the light that's going to be going in this room, so I'm kind of tempted to unbox it. Right, I'm just trying to show you guys the light, basically. I'm just trying to update you because I've got hardly anything to update you on, so I'm trying to make this video more interesting. This is the light that I just showed you next. This is what it should look like. We're just trying to work, well I'm just trying to work out how far it should come down in this room because I don't want it really, really low. No, if you've got tall friends coming around as well, you don't want them smacking their head on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, of course, they'll cut a lot of that off. Yeah. And there's the box next to this. Okay. The glass, you yeah. mean? Yeah. Going in. Yeah, it would be nice. This is the other light, which is actually really nice. This is from um, Pookie, and it's kind of like a brushed sort of brass colour. I actually really love this. I would have ordered so many more lights from them, but they're not, to be honest, they're really not cheap. Like, I think this was like 100 and... 30 or was it 100 maybe this one was 100 and this one's 120 but this is a lot bigger so that's the only thing but they do have really really nice lights i hope you guys can kind of see it i'm just trying to keep it in its packaging until tomorrow guys going to be in here tomorrow how far this light should come down into the room because obviously i don't want it in the middle of the room but i don't want it super high up so i'm just trying to figure that out um let me show you guys the rest this room honestly is carnage like the bathroom is just causing all kinds of situations but it is what it is. I mean, I'm not even gonna show you guys the garden because it's gonna make me have a breakdown. This floor is gonna be carpeted at some point and obviously the TV is gonna be going on here. So I just thought I would show you this room a bit better. I mean, this room's the only room that's looking half decent, to be honest. So I have come upstairs to do some updates with you. I mean, this room, can't really update you on it because it looks absolutely awful but it's fine i can tell you what i'm planning on doing in this room so planning on doing wardrobes all the way let me stand it in the corner along here like flat obviously they won't come right out by the window pane but flat all the way across not going to bother here anymore i was going to do an l shape but scrapped that idea and just going to do them flat across and put a nice mirror here and maybe like a chair or some shelving for my bags so that's going to be really exciting that's ikea then this is the update in here. So these are my beautiful tiles on the wall. Um, we went this way because this is like a really awkward size versus like the size of the tile. So yeah, this is what this is looking like. This has really been taking a while and this is why I haven't been able to move in. Um, but hopefully we're getting somewhere. So yeah, I thought I would just show you guys a little update in there. And then I'll show you guys this. So this is a bed that I'm really excited to talk to you guys about. I'm gonna link the company this bed is from. It is, honestly, the color is so nice because it's just like the color of my bed back home, which is a really nice kind of minky color. Like it's not gray, it's not cream, it's not beige. Like it's just a really nice color. I think it goes so well with the color on the wall, which if you're wondering, this is Farron Ball Elephant's Breath and this isn't a dupe or anything. This is not a mix. This is the actual Farron Ball color which I love, I think it looks so nice in here with the, um, oh my goodness, I've gone completely blank. <laughs> Sorry guys. So yeah, I love this. I'm gonna change these bed sheets and everything and make the bed look really, really nice. I just threw these on because it was all I had in the house. What is so good about this bed, firstly, I love this button 
bit at the bottom. I want to tuck this in so that you guys can see that because I think it looks so nice. I will update you when I've made this bed look really lovely. Um, that's what it looks like. But it has the lift up storage, which I absolutely adore. Um, here it is. Here's the, I'm trying to find the um, little thing that you pull. But yeah, this is the lift up storage. It's super heavy at the moment. So I struggle with it, but there you go. <laughs> yeah, and I absolutely love this room. Obviously got a little radiator down here and this has been carpeted, which is great. And then I'll quickly show you guys my bed because I haven't actually shown this on YouTube yet. If you follow my home account, you would have seen this already. This is my bed that I bought from Feather and Black. Definitely a little bit more expensive. I was able to get 20% off when they had like 20% off oak furniture or something. Um, and it is just one of my favorite things in the world. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And I will also link the color on the walls in here. This is an Andrew Martin color um, and it's called Llama, I wanna say. And it's one of my favorite colors. It's kind of like a neutral, slightly pink, but super, super light color. I love this color on the walls. It's one of my faves. This and the one next door, I just love. The paint colors were really, oh, we've got a bit blurry were really really like well done I feel. This is obviously the bed, I went for a king size, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna look at getting some really nice bedside tables to go here. I also have obviously my little white company throw that I actually got a Bista, so really recommend that. And then my mum kindly bought me some Zara bed sheets while she was away. Um, she picked these up and these are so nice. I love the little detail here that kind of is like a linen-y vibe which matches the headboard like perfectly. I absolutely love these. I wanna grab some more. And I'm thinking of doing some sort of um, chest of drawers or something in this little space just behind the door. Hope you guys can see there. And my chair from Zara is going to go in the corner. I could actually go and grab that and bring it up the stairs, to be honest. This obviously all needs to be carpeted. Holly, we go into my house. Are we going to my house or not? Hey, vlog. So, I actually have not picked up this... Um, home vlog in a little while. I think I vlogged going to Ikea, which should be in this video. And I'm pretty sure I also vlogged when me and my mum went round there and it was all a bit of a stress that day. A few little things. Sorry, I hope I'm not distracting you. Hello. I just didn't want to be a little girl. Yeah, that's fine. Because I've got no makeup on and I'm like um, yeah, so I think I vlogged a couple of bits then. I did also tell you guys that I bought a couple of things, which I, when I get to the house, I'll show you everything. Sorry if this is me repeating the stuff I've already shown you, I can't remember. Um, but I can't show you the lamps because I'm actually sending them back because I was very disappointed in the Zara home lamps and I have no shame in telling you that. So I found some others on Instagram, I think I might try and order, but I need to return those. Um, so yeah, we're just going over there to see if there's like any updates with the bathroom, which I haven't really showed you guys any updates with that bathroom in what feels like a really long time. So I'm gonna take the camera in there and show you because I think it's definitely looking a lot better. I know a lot of people comment on these moving vlogs being very like erratic and, well this guy's going very slow isn't he? Mm -hmm. um, being very erratic and like there's no real structure and I totally get that but I think because I'm still sorting the house out to like move into it, there kind of is no structure to the videos. It's sort of like we're doing a bit here and something's happening over here. So that's sort of the situation. But when I'm properly in there and I'm buying like finishing touches, I think there'll be a little bit more structure to it. And I definitely think before the year is over, I want to do an updated house tour um, when I'm properly in there. So you guys can see it and we can compare it to the one that I filmed earlier on in the summer. It's bright out to the sky. Maybe I shouldn't have touched it. That is very bright. Big bang. <laughs> Looks cute though. Oh, Here. The non, they're not dimmable no. Are they? no. So that I got from Wayfair, for anyone that's wondering. And this is next. This is like still one of my faves. Like fave, fave, fave lights. And I've also got this to go on the landing. And this is my sofa, but I need to put the cover on it. So I'm going to do that now with my mum. Okay guys, so this is the chair that I was telling you about. So this I really love from Zara Home. I think it looks really nice. It just goes well in the room. Obviously matches the bed perfectly. Yes, I'm still to get a mattress in this room, um, but it's coming. This is a king size bed from Feather and Black, which I absolutely love. But like I said, I'm also gonna link the one that I got for the spare room just because it's so much more affordable than this and it has the storage. So it kind of depends what you're into, what you want. I managed to get 25% off this when they had 25% off oak furniture. 
and I adore this. So if any of you guys have any tips or ideas or places that do bedside tables in this sort of like reclaimed kind of oak wood or even a chest of drawers that I'm thinking of putting along this wall, just for practicality reasons, I really need the storage. This is the chair that I've just got at the moment in the corner of this. I think it looks so lovely. Um, and just suits the room so much. Actually, I've got a light in it, so let me turn the light on. I just love this so, so, so much. And I cannot wait until this room is done. Um, yeah, very exciting. Okay, so, hello and welcome, guys. Put you on my window sill as a tripod right now. I can do a couple of updates. Um, now I'm in the house, no one else is here, it's me. I feel like I've obviously updated you throughout this video, but it's been quite chaotic. I'm also matching the tones of this room right now. So this is my lovely next lamp that we have up. Yes, um, I'm loving how this room is looking. We are really making progress. This is probably the room in the house that's actually making progress. Um, I am carpeting this floor. So I do really like the wood floor in here. Um, but I'm gonna carpet it with like a wool carpet, which I think is gonna be really nice. I've also selected a little co low coffee table from Olivia's. That will be going like just down here. It's really, really quite tiny. I do need to get a little like low side table here. I have a really nice lamp that I want to put on a little low side table. So let me know if you've seen any cute um, low kind of tables that I can put like ornaments and like, you know, make it look sweet. I'm not sure what's going to go in this corner here. I am thinking like a taller lamp or something. This is my Ikea sofa. So this is the far off sofa. I went for the bigger size. They do a smaller size. It is a big old chunky sofa. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to put really nice cushions on here. I need to steam it. And we're going to do like some throws. And just make it look a lot sort of smarter. Um, right now it really looks like a squishy kind of sofa. But I promise you we're going to beautify her up a little bit. My TV is going to go here. And I think I'm going to go for one of those frame Samsung TVs. So that I can have like a nice autumnal background a nice winter background while the tv's off personally i'm not actually a big tv person like i don't like how they look i never really watch tv sorry it keeps not focusing on me um have i got it on the right setting yeah so i'm not a big tv person but i am going to get a frame tv to go here because i think it will look nice and it's more symmetrical in the room so yeah, I mean, you guys have seen my cabinets a million times. Um, I've got a couple of little ornaments on here now, which is cute. This dish my mum picked up for me from Anthropology. I absolutely love it. It's like so me. I just think it looks really lovely. And then up here, I've got um, a candle, which a friend of mine bought me from this independent candle place. They're called Handmade in Harpenden. They smell lovely and the packaging's gorge. And then I love this little pot too, which is also Anthro. Um, and a couple of like new home cards that I've honestly had in here since I moved in. So yeah, I need to sort of obviously decorate these when I have the right things to decorate them with. My little, what is it? See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, or hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. I get really confused. Someone's gonna correct me the order in that. I'm apologizing already. Two books down here. I need to take the Chanel one out of the packaging, but I have this Chanel book and then my Jacquemus book which might end up going on the coffee ta table, to be honest, when that arrives. Um, my lovely little radiator. What's this? Oh, I think this goes to the sofa. Um, my lovely little radiator, which you guys have seen, and my gorge bay window. Um, but the shutters for that are like crazy, like just as in stock and getting everything in. So they will be fitted before Christmas, but there's definitely a little bit of a delay on the shutters, but that's okay. I don't mind. I've got these Ikea stick up blinds that I'm gonna use in the meantime like for my bedroom and stuff until my shutters are done. And yeah, this is the Warwick light from Next. I will link it below. It's a dupe for the White Company one. I'm obsessed with it. So let's leave this room. Oh yeah, there's like a rubbish bag there. Honestly guys, things are not looking great, but it's okay. Then we're in what will be my dining room. So I'm gonna have a dining table in here. Um, I'm thinking of having like a sideboard or something here. However, I do have a six foot mirror that's coming from Anthropology. But honestly, it's like six foot tall and like it's so wide, it's gonna be like a lot of this wall. So yeah, that needs to be put up soon. I'm leaving the wood floor in here. Definitely needs a good polish and like TLC. But I am leaving the wood flooring in here because I do really like a little bit of that kind of natural, uh, it's very light as well, wood flooring, but it really needs a scrub and a sort out. This, by the way, is the new light fixture that I've got for the hallway. 
Um, I don't know how well you guys can see it and it needs a light bulb in there. But I do think that with all the coving, it looks so nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to have it quite low, but it just would not be practical. This is from Pookie. So this light I bought from Pookie, the other one in the sitting room is next. And then this, very dramatic. Can you guys even see this? My exposure is really... I it was giving me Restoration Hardware vibes. I really like it. I think it's a statement. I wanted a bit of a statement in this room. This is Wayfair. So I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I like totally appreciate that. But I think it looks kind of nice. I don't know why my camera's being funny and it like won't show how oh, Maybe it's because I got the light on. There we go. There we go. So it's kind of cute. And then you guys have seen my kitchen a thousand times. Needs a good old mop and TLC. But obviously because I've not been in here, that's why it's been like left like to look like this. I mean these black cabinets are not the one. Like, honestly, they show everything. Um, but I'm not changing the kitchen. I'm keeping the kitchen. So this is this. That's my lovely little garden. Why is the exposure? I probably would not have, like, gone for this kitchen. But I'm not changing the kitchen. I love the features in it, like this window and the stable door. But, yeah, I'm not going to change the kitchen unless I did an extension, which would not be happening for, like, at least two years, I reckon. So that's the only time that I would change up the whole kitchen is if I decided to extend a little bit and go out that way and make this bigger and then knock through this wall. But I've spoken about that, I think, in my house tour um, and that's not happening anytime soon. These are looking awful. They're gonna have a little paint refresh, I believe next week. And I am gonna get a carpet runner that's gonna go down here. And then this is gonna be carpeted and this is gonna be carpeted. The reason why it hasn't is because the bathroom is still a process so i'm going to take you in the bathroom so this is the bathroom right now the sensors are working um i'm actually a bit nervous to stand on here in these should i take my shoes off i can actually just take my shoes off just so i can show you the bathroom properly is it me or does that look really low so i know some of you can be like oh my god your loo is in the middle of the bathroom i didn't actually have a choice um i wanted a mirror above the sink so this is my mirror it does light up it's really cute i'm gonna have a big piece of like something here with a basin so i'm really excited about all of that um however it meant that originally i was going to have the vanity unit there and the loo here but i would have been able to have a mirror so that is why the mirror is here um and i've had to i've had to have the loo there there was literally nowhere else for it to go in this bathroom but i love my shower so this is all like the finishings that i've got with the shower all of this comes from victorian plumbing I'm happy to link everything below for you guys. It isn't cheap, but it's cheaper than some of the other brands like Crosswater and things like that. My mirror was off this random website. I think it was like 150 quid, but it has Bluetooth music and also um, lights up around the side. So that was why I went for it. Kind of wish I'd gone for a bigger mirror, but it is what it is. This, this vanity unit here is also Victorian plumbing. And I just really, really like it. I am going to get some brushed brass little handles to go on here that are going to match all the other little features. And then I obviously have my little radiator thing there. Um, the tiles are gorgeous. The tiles look absolutely amazing, I think, in here. And it is a gorgeous bathroom. I've actually kept this window. I know some people are like, whoa, it's so busy. But this is like a little bit of a feature in the house that I like. So I have actually kept the window like that. Um, but yeah, this is the current situ in here this room nothing's changed i will be having wardrobes going across the back here so i'm going to order them from ikea i love this room it's one of my favorites i just love the window and the light but yeah it's teeny tiny so this is just going to be all wardrobes just along the back and then we obviously have this room which is now like just one of my faves. I love this bed. It obviously has the lift up storage. Um, I will link the company that I got this from. I love, it's just like my bed back home, but I just think it's so nice. I think this color is lovely. It's not a silver, it's more of like a mink. It matches perfectly with elephant's breath. And then obviously the coving details. There are no pillows in here. Um, I just stuffed a load of stuff in here because I need to buy some pillows big enough for these pillowcases. And I'm gonna get some more just classic pillows. And yeah, I need to like dress the bed a lot better. But this is what it looks like right now. This is the white company and their white company covers too. And that is, I saw it first. Gonna get two really cute little bedside tables as well to go either side with a nice little lamp. Um, and I need to get a really nice light in here too. So that's that room. And then we walk down here classic door in the way and this is my room so yeah i've showed you guys this literally yesterday but my lovely lovely chair from zara that i love it's so nice this wasn't cheap but 
I do really like it. Obviously my feather and black bed. I'm gonna get some bigger, chunkier bedsides to store more of my stuff in here. But yeah, I love this. I love the two little radiators down there too. Update for you guys. Hopefully we're making a bit more progress than, you know, I had made previously. Feels like we are, it's just the bathroom like there's just a lot still happening, but I hope you guys like the little sneak peek of it. Nearly finished. We're nearly there. We're, we're getting there. Um, thank you for being patient with me with these videos. I, you know, as soon as I'm in the house, I feel like there'll be even more home content. I think it's just while I'm not living here and I can't order stuff to the house because I have to be in to pick it up. And it's just not as like easy breezy. But once I'm in the house, I think there'll be a lot more home content. And I am planning on doing before the end of the year an updated home tour. Um, because I want to compare it to the one that we did in the summer and like update the home tour and show you guys around a little bit more I also do want to be in here for like autumn like I want to be in here for Halloween I want to have a pumpkin on my doorstep and an autumn wreath I want all of those things so yes um, very very excited and I really do appreciate your continued support and like just your nice questions on Instagram like what's happening is everything okay like how's this going how's that going it's very very sweet and I really do appreciate you guys asking me what's going on because half the time i don't know what's going on to be honest with you uh i totally underestimate i didn't underestimate because that sounds really naive but i think i just everything it costs so much <laughs> and everything takes so long and so much longer than you expect and this is not even like a project you know some people renovate like as in they knock down houses and they rebuild them themselves from scratch but just little things that you don't think will cost a lot or i seem to always like the thing that's a little bit more expensive which is a real pain um, but I am, you know what, I am happy with some of the things I spent the money on, like this bed, definitely really happy with. And it also meant that like, I didn't have to splash the cash for the other bed. I mean, this other bed is, is so nice and it was a really good price, like really good price. So I am very happy. Um, I do have a light, it's the same light that's in the sitting room that's actually gonna go here in the hallway, but I'm not hanging that until all the work's done because I'm gonna have it quite low. I'm gonna have the light like in the middle of this landing as more of a feature. I'm also gonna get a little console table to go here or like a chest and then do like a big flower display and maybe like a mirror in front of that. So we've got ideas. It's just slow and steady wins the race, do you know what I mean? I want the bathroom to be the sun, but we're getting there. I like the censored lights. I think that's kind of cool. We're getting there. 